Did you know the second most used resource on Earth after water is sand? But not just any sand, silica. It's what built our past, powers our present, and will decide our technological future. Silica has been with us since prehistory. First as mortar in stone buildings and glass beads, later in steel making, ceramics, and construction. And today, it still underpins cement, glass, and even specialty steel. Without silica, there would be no skyscrapers, no windows, no modern cities. But silica doesn't just build cities. When purified, it becomes silicon, the foundation of our digital world. Elemental silicon is a semiconductor, meaning conducts electricity only under certain conditions. That's why it's inside every computer chip, solar panel, and fiber optic cable. The average car today has over a thousand silicon chips. Here's the catch. Not all sand can make silicon chips. High purity quartz is incredibly rare. Most of it comes from just a few places on earth, like spruce pine, North Carolina, where the purest quartz sells for $10,000 a ton. That's why the world may never run out of sand, but we can run out of the sand that we actually need. Silicon is now critical for both clean energy and national security. China controls about 75% of silicon metal and nearly all refined polysilicon. Meanwhile, countries like Malaysia and Indonesia are restricting sand exports. That means silicon isn't just about tech, it's about geopolitics and sovereignty and power. So next time you walk on a beach, remember those grains of sand could one day end up inside a solar panel, a jet engine, or even your smartphone. Silica and silicon are more than just sand. They're the backbone of civilization. From Stone Age to quantum computers, in the 21st century, the real question isn't, do we have enough sand? It's, do we have the right sand?